Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on chapter 884. Now, this chapter right here was actually pretty cool, really slick. L looking forward to more. L glad there's no break next week, because otherwise it'd be another terrible time to even wait another freaking, like, um, week or so. Aside from that, um... Aside from that, we're going to have to see what's going to happen from here on out for Luffy. Because it looks like to me it's not going to be as simple as it is for him as it is now. We have to it that Luffy launched a Kong gun which plays off from last week's chapter and goes into here. Where he managed to launch Katakuri across um, the mirror world pretty badly. Luffy says aloud that he thought he was invincible. And seeing that he says that Iron Man Hockey is supposed to make you form, most supposed to make was supposed to make people take form. However, even though Iron Man Hockey uses work, Iron Man Hockey works on Logia users, it went straight past through you. But you know what? I was wrong. My attacks can still hit you. And at the same time, like, um, he even says his stand, even against your super hard armor defense, Gil Fourth is not going to lose. He therefore pushes Katakuri back greatly. And he said, and Luffy says, the crazy thing about you is not about your mochi powers. It's about your observation hockey, isn't it? And then he launched a Rhino Schneider at Katakuri and pushed him back further. And therefore, we have to it that Katakuri, Katakuri compliments him. And we have to it that Katakuri becomes intangible when he was being hit by or, or, Oregon. King, Gum Gum Kong Oregon or something. He therefore compliments Luffy by figuring out his power and says like, um, you're right, I'm just changing shape and efficiently dodging your attacks. All possible if you could use hockey to see the future. He also says like, um, because you got me hot headed right now, I gave you a chance to freaking hit me hard, hit me, hit me harder than, hit me like a, like a hardened demon. Therefore, he also says like, because if you're not calm and collect, if you're not calm and collected with your hockey, then your observation won't work at all. And he even told Luffy that he compliments him by telling him, "How many years has it been since I actually took a hit?" He even says like, "I'm beginning to realize just how Brother Cracker got lost to you in the first place." And therefore, we have to it that. Um, Katakuri uses peerless donuts from his mochi powers and therefore like um launch a devastating blow launch launch a devastating blow because like um somehow he turned those peerless donuts into his arms and then launched an attack called strength mochi and it looked like it hit Luffy so hard that he looks like he's about to be unconscious and therefore gets flown back flown back into the, flown back to the mirror world and we have to it that Katakuri says, I'm not going to give you any more chances. You're back to square one, aren't you? And we have to it that Pound himself wants to see, like, um, Chiffon right now. But they all said, no, you're not supposed to enter this building right now. We have to it that, um, someone's making a loud noise right now. And it's 4 p.m. right now. Like, literally, 4 p.m. until, until how many hours? 9 hours to 1 a.m. that they had to finish the cake, etc. and give it to Big Mom. We had to it that they had precisely until 1, 1 o'clock in the morning to like, um, give out the cake and that's when Big Mom's gonna appear. And we also see to it that, um, that, um, the Straw Hats are having a rendezvous point over here, of course. And we also see to it that Brule comp is talking to pudding right now and says like you know we have to it that brother's dog tooth is facing against luffy and there's no way he's gonna win at any rate in nine hours the straw hat captain is supposed to come up, show up with her with his crew but that's not gonna happen anytime soon and not not only that um mama will be eating her fits along with brother's peril right on the heroes etc and we have to it that Lord Oven himself is trying to enter the building while he's tasked to go get the straw hats with his army, etc. To find the straw hats, etc. Sorry. We have to it that Lord Oven was told not to go in the factory as not a soul is not supposed to enter. And we have to it that Lord Oven understands that and decides not to like um 
enter, but he realized that there's some ruckus out in the factory, and he ends up being Pound, which is his father-in-law, he, and he goes like, listen, I know, do you remember me, my dear Oven? And that's the reason why Oven's like, yeah, I remember you, but you know what, you're my father-in-law, and that's why I'm kicking you out of here right now, <laughs> and therefore that's the reason why he's beating the heck out of like Pound pretty badly, which is really sad. We had to with that, um, that Pudding tells Sanji, like, um, he's fighting, Do that Luffy is fighting Dogsooth right now, and he's got a billion bounty bearer, and he's never lost to anyone. Sanji, with great, um, confidence in his captain, says, well, today will be his first loss. Let's just focus on the cake for the time being. And Pudding, um, just fainted out again because Sanji talked to her, etc. We also see to it that, um... That Peril's Peril informs Montior that like um that Mama's attacking Nuts Island and they and they go like what the hell is going on here? We're already in big trouble. Well, the biggest trouble that they're in right now as well is that German sixty six did not lose to the big big mom's army, etc. We all know that. But we also see to it that one of the subordinates of Big Mom's army says, Um, I need to tell you something right now. The sea slugs is not <laughs> is not like I'm um, doing their job and then we have to it that Monty is like what are you just talking about they're not doing their job did they die no um they're not around at all they go like what are you the what the heck are you talking about and we see to it that the sea slugs are like being attracted by Aladdin's wife Aladdin's wife apparently praline etc so it looks like to me the reason why the sea slugs are disappearing is because of Praline's voice, etc. With the help of with the help of with the help of Aladdin, and we have to it that there's no ship coming after the Straw Hats, etc. And Montior Montior does not know this. No one actually knows this that the sea slugs are disappearing because of Praline's voice singing to them to come come to her, thanks to Aladdin's possible request and Praline's um. Let me see here. Willingness to oblige to get the sea slugs to them to her So it looks like to me all the sea slugs at least over hundreds or possibly thousands of them are going after Praline's voice because they're attracted to it so That's why they say when it's a holiday. <laughs> I'm like wow, dude So overall in this chapter I'm gonna tell you right now is that um, Luffy continues to fight against Katakuri and finally figures out that his Kimmin Shoku Haki is his power. But apparently Katakuri on the other hand makes Luffy go back to square one even in gear fourth. And of course Pudding's worried about like um, Luffy when she told Sanji. But Sanji in great confidence says that Luffy will win and it will be Katakuri's first loss no matter what. And therefore of course the chapter ends off with Praline or Aladdin's wife or something. Praline. The mermaid girl, half-human, half-mermaid girl of Big Mom's ch children is distracting the sea, is having the sea slugs come to her, knowing that no one would be able to track down anyone else. So, until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!